It's 1115 and maybe you heard some of that thunder out there today. We had quite an active yeah. cell going through. You've been watching this all day, Riley. Yeah, they're right. There were several cells that went through, of course, up near Battleground, also up towards Vancouver, even sure. out towards Camas, even down towards Oregon City tonight. Portland downtown, we kind of saw everything really go around us, but it's yeah. been a very active day today. In fact, we have some video of uh, the sky this evening. Now, this is actually what you're looking at, some of the towering cumulus clouds turning into those cumulonimbus clouds, but it's, it may for actually a really beautiful sunset after all the heavy rains moved out of the area. Now, check this picture out. This picture was sent in by Randy. This is a water spout that was out near the Oregon Dunes. This was earlier today, right around 512 in the evening. Again, a water spout occurs over the water. It was there for about five minutes. It did not come on land. If it would have came on land, we would have had to call that a tornado because you could see it's actually, you know, reaching the water surface there. So great picture sent in uh, by Randy, the National Weather Service in Medford and in Portland uh, got this picture and also uh, sent a report out on that one. Let's look at this picture right here because this is a really cool shot up at Battleground sent in by Michael of the intense lightning that we saw up in that area today. As we look into Vancouver, we had hail the size really of pea-sized hail. This was sent in by Joan and this is very typical what we saw earlier uh, today between about 4 o'clock and 6.30 p.m. One other picture I want to show you. This is how we ended the evening out of Salmon Creek. You know, when we have these storms, get a little bit of sunshine. We get a nice rainbow there. That's what's sent in by Lisa. Thanks for sending all your pictures in, guys. Right now, the radar is fairly quiet. A little bit of shower activity once you get out towards Gresham along the I-84 corridor. That's really moving toward the east. This little shower near Tiger that popped up about uh, an hour ago. It's really starting to fizzle out right now. Nothing really going on in Portland. We're mainly cloudy right now. So if you look at the radar out toward the west, really not much going on over the coast and coast range. And that's where I'm really going to be watching these uh, showers and storms developing overnight. So let's go back 12 hours. You could see the uh, the timeline here. This is the piece of energy that's going to start to make its way in overnight tonight. And notice as we go through time and it advances toward the north and the east, we're even getting a few lightning strikes with these. So our air is still unstable with this cold pool aloft and that's going to pull in tonight and tomorrow. So we have the chance for maybe some more thunderstorms to redevelop overnight into tomorrow morning and lasting until the afternoon hours. But outside right now, it's mainly quiet. Again, we're mostly cloudy. High Today we made it to 56 degrees. That's two degrees below where we should be for this time of year. We woke up at 45 degrees, and that record set back in 1979 of 73. So here's the planner for tomorrow. You're waking up early, getting ready for work. Could be some wet roadways out there. Again, a few isolated thunderstorms possible as we get a little uh, daytime heating also going in with a few sun breaks through the afternoon. I think we'll end up right around 53 for your lunch hour, ending up right around 56 degrees, and we'll be wet at times through the evening hours. One thing that we're going to be getting will be the snow levels dropping. In fact, here's a live look up at Mount Hood Meadows. We saw some flurries going on today. Things are pretty quiet right now, but notice these snow levels between about three and 4,000 feet through Tuesday, so we might be picking up about a foot of new snow, so that's some good news there. Wednesday, the snow levels start to go up, so we'll see rain, and then we dry out uh, Thursday and Friday as we see warmer temperatures, so let's time it out for you. Again, rain and cloud forecast. Looking at that rain intensity for tomorrow, some of that could be heavy at times, getting into the afternoon hours, some pockets of showers, and these could be individual cells, so we could get a few thunderstorms out of that. Monday evening looks like a wet one. Here's 1030. And then once we roll into Tuesday, I think we'll still see some scattered showers. Most of the intensity will get out of here. A weak system pulls in on Wednesday, and that's going to bring us a few showers Wednesday morning. But look at this extended forecast. It gets really nice Thursday and Friday. I bumped us up to 74 to start the weekend, keeping it dry Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in the lower 70s. Alicia. From active to absolutely beautiful. I love it. That's right. We will take it. Thank you very much, Riley. It's pretty much deja vu for the Ducks, right? Once again, Wisconsin having our number.